Today on BladeHQ.com, we're taking a look at the Mantis Vuja Day. Very cool little Balisong Karambit mix hybrid sort of deal. And uh, very fun to play with. By the way, I've been sitting here playing with this for about seven minutes now. And it's, you notice how, uh, how I did that. You just stick your finger there, push the button, flick it open, and it snaps into place if you do it right. I've been practicing that for several minutes in order to get it right. Bam, just like that locks into place. Very, very fun. Very fun feature. So the way it works is it's got this little tab here, spring-loaded tab, that uh, you push over to close it, and then you push that button, and basically you can just give it a little flick and it's going to open. So that, that tab, once it's open, flicks into place and locks the blade in place. So very cool design on that. I really respect the engineering that goes into that because I can't engineer anything. I just make videos, right? So very cool design on that, just getting everything to line up and work perfectly there. You have to respect that, have to respect that. So pretty cool. Let me uh, go over the specs on this with you. The overall length on this blade is six inches, karambit style. It's kind of got that mantis look to it, the jimping there. Fits nicely in the hand. You get your pinky in that, that hole there and uh, plenty of room in hand for this blade. Now, I don't think you could flip this Balisong style. I think that's just kind of a, a nice little feature. The pocket clip on it is kind of a deep carry clip, but you're gonna still have parts poking out there. Show you that, and it is reversible as well. And here's a pocket shot for you, just to give an idea of how it looks in pocket. So, very cool blade. The weight on this one is 3.8 ounces. Uh, what else do you wanna know? Four, point, four and three quarter inches closed length. Handle material is G10, which I like it because it's kind of a, I'm not sure, just looking at it, that is one piece of G10. It's got stainless steel liners in it, but I like the, the two-tone, the black and the blue. Basically, it looks like they've put them together and then they, they uh, machined them and that sort of thing. So, very cool. Now, let me show you that one more time. I do enjoy this. Bam. And I can get it almost every time now. I don't know if I can flick it back. You can't flick it back because you do have to push that button over, that uh, tab. But that is a fun little feature of that knife. And uh, it's taken me a couple tries to get that down, but highly enjoyable. I could do this at my desk while I edit video and be very entertained all day long. So, very cool blade. It runs for $79.95 on bladehq.com. I don't even know that there's a blade to compare this to because it's kind of its own just unique design very interesting design by Mantis. Very cool. So there is the blade. Like I mentioned, the place to buy it is bladehq.com. Before I go, let me just show you one more time. Let me see if I can get that flick down. Oh, I missed it. Missed it. I know you guys want to watch me get this. So uh, let me, bam, got it. So, oh yeah, got it. Anyway, buy this blade at bladehq.com. Thanks for watching guys. and. What else do you want to know? Be sure to uh, shop at Blade HQ, and uh, if you have any requests for videos, be sure to let me know. I'm happy to uh, throw these on the list. In fact, this one was request by, requested by a YouTuber, so I figured I'd throw it together for you guys and just kind of give you an idea and uh, tell you to buy it at Blade HQ. So thank you for watching, and we'll catch you with another overview.